All right, students, we're gonna be going over our youth and teen MMA grappling requirements for our yellow orange belts. We're gonna start off with our takedown, which is a double leg, but we're gonna use the outside trip. That's called Kosoto when we study uh, and implement our judo techniques, okay? So Ms. Cora and I are gonna grab each other by the head and by the bicep, okay? If you are out here on the elbow, it's fine, but the bicep is, a, is better, okay? It stops Miss Cora from controlling my head really well, and she's doing the same thing here. Okay, so we're gonna pull Miss Cora forward here. Okay, that step is really important. So all of our beginner, intermediate, and advanced ranks are doing this technique. So I step, and when Miss Cora goes uh, with her weight on her front leg, I'm gonna drop in. Okay, I'm not bent over like this. You might get put in a guillotine. Okay, so I'm here. And what I'm gonna do is once I drop in, I'm gonna reach around behind, I'm gonna push her over as I take her leg out, okay? Now, what Ms. Cora's gonna do is build her frame there on my shoulder and recover the closed guard. Okay, perfect. So, again, we're here, we pull, I come in. Now, when I go to her legs in here, she is framing covering the closed guard. One more time. Beautiful. Okay, Miss Cora did a really good job with timing there. As soon as she hit the mat, she was recovering her guard. And that's what we wanna see our students do. As soon as your shoulders hit the floor, you gotta turn and start recovering your guard and get your leg out of the half guard position. Half guard's what we're working on this cycle. All right, thanks. Okay guys, we're gonna be going over our intermediate requirements. We're gonna do the uh, double leg Kosoto with that outside trip again. I'm gonna pass Ms. Cora's guard and she's gonna recover her guard. All right, so we saw in the beginners, they were working on recovering the guard before you got your half guard pass, okay? So we're gonna go collars and biceps, okay? Now, I'm pulling, I'm coming here pulling her forward, I come behind, and I break her down here. Now, I'm working into my knee slide pass, it's the same pass we were doing for the beginner ranks, okay? Now, I'm not, I'm pausing here to kind of explain. You might have to use the detail, Miss Cora's being real tight, we're rolling. I push her thigh open, pop leg, and I can pass. And now Miss Cora's gonna recover her guard. Yes, good close guard. Now. This may happen when you do this in class. If your foot gets hung in a butterfly position as you're recovering, keep turning to this hip and you'll get your close guard. Okay, all the way, yeah. See how easy that was to pull out? So students often, when they're recovering their guard, will get their foot stuck in a butterfly position. When that happens, just keep turning to your other side and you'll be able to pull it out easily, okay? So just a little troubleshooting. We're here. Pass with the knee slide, and she recovers her guard. She did a good time, a good uh, job that time about putting her foot on my hip so her foot didn't get stuck in the butterfly. Sometimes you're able to do that, but guess what this is all about is making space. And if you wait too late, it'll be really hard to make space because your partner will be smashing you in the face with their shoulder, okay? So here, this court starts with cover. Yes, she did such a good job at timing there that I kind of fell forward. Okay, you can, I was here, I was about to get up, and I didn't have good posture. So she kind of made me make a mistake because she had such good timing, okay? So our takedown requirement, we're doing the double leg with outside trip, we call that Kosoto, right? We're passing the guard with our beginner pass, and we're doing the guard recovery for the person on bottom. So it's just sort of an extension of what we saw with our takedown with our beginners. All right, youth and teens, we're gonna be going over our takedown. We're doing a different pass this time, okay? So we've seen the takedown, we've seen the person on bottom recovering the guard after the takedown, we've seen doing a knee slide with the takedown. This one is gonna be a back step guard pass, okay? So a back step is a way that we can get past our buddy's guard. So here, now look what I'm gonna do from here. See how I landed like this? Ms. Cora's kind of already caught me. 
I have to initiate the back step as soon as we go down, okay, like this, okay? So this is one that you have to really focus on the timing of it. I'm not gonna pause when I do the takedown now. I'm immediately gonna pass, it's gonna be smooth. You can rewind the video and watch it the next time we'll show it too. Here. And I back step. See how my arm is over here by her ear? Okay, so some of the techniques after are advanced techniques, right? So remember advanced, we have to know beginner, intermediate, and advanced techniques. But future techniques you're gonna learn, you'll learn about this elbow being right here on the far side. It can be under the head, but this is better, okay? So when I take Miss Cora down, I'm gonna put my elbow on the far side, and I'm gonna back step. Here. Okay, if I don't back step, as we're going down, Miss Cora will do exactly what she did when I was pausing to teach. She was gonna retain her half guard. And I'll have to go into some of my other passing techniques. Okay, now the junior black belts, you guys will be learning how to pass when this happens off your takedown. Okay?